What's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be showing you how I set up my Sumo Bot competition. Uh, what do we do for playoffs to see, you know, when the good robots um, win, how do we put them into the playoff and see what system and brackets I use. And then I want to end the video with just some of the finals and playoff uh, battles that we had. So this is going to be awesome. Stay with me. So in my class, when we're ready for sumo bot competitions, they build, they will test, uh, they will I'll program, and then they will test, and then they do scrimmages, and then they'll modify their bot according to their scrimmages. So if they feel something's not going right, something is another robot's just pushing them, they'll make little modifications to make it better. And once we're ready and everybody's set, we're gonna get going. So basically, everybody, um, I set my limit at 10. I have classes of about 33 and 35. So my teams of two, I tell them just get 10 matches done. Everybody just does 10 matches. And then we set up and figure out like standings, kind of like, you know, baseball or basketball. And let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So this is a sample of what my paper looked like um, from one of my periods. Um, anytime a uh, team finishes a match, I tell them to come tell me and I type it in. So that way I have a record of every match that went on and who won that match in case there's any discrepancies. And then what we do is we get um, a standing. And so we have everybody's wins and losses. And so all these numbers here are basically, I seed the teams. So obviously the team with the best record and they, they had finished nine and one. Uh, they get the number one seed, and then the teams, you know, that have not as good of a record, they'll get the lower numbered seeds. Um, I usually um, kept it at eight teams that made the playoffs. This year, I wanted to make it more fun, so I said, uh, we'll take 10 teams in the playoffs. And let me go ahead and show you what the brackets would look like for 10 teams. Okay, so all I did was I just Googled um, 10 team you know, single elimination. Uh, I had a, I have a low period that has only five teams. So we did a five team single elimination. So in this bracket here, here's how this worked. I took the four lowest teams, teams seven, eight, nine, and 10. And basically they had to win to enter the, basically the tournament of eight. So as soon as this team here with Angel, as soon as they won, now they become, you know, the seven seed, when Andy and his team won, then they become the number eight seed. So basically, it just makes a little bit more fun and it includes more teams. And then I basically do this like I do the NBA. Um, team number two plays seven, three plays six, one plays eight, four plays, uh, that should have been a five. And then basically they just move on from there until we get a champion. So it's, it's a really neat experience because there are some teams that actually, you know, that started off kind of low that ended up, you know, doing really well. So you can see here, this team, I believe, was a five team. See, a five actually made it to the playoffs. So just because they didn't do so well in the, you know, the 10 earlier matches didn't mean they would not do so well in the playoffs here. So um, this number one team... Actually, oh, that, they were a number two team. Actually, they had won and actually finished the whole thing as champs. So, really neat experience. Um, let me go ahead and go to the video of some of the matches that took place in the playoffs.
Okay, guys, there you have it. Our Sumo Bot 2 season is over. And you could tell around the room, people were like, is it over? Is it really over? And, you know, taking apart their Sumo Bot, they just look really sad because the Sumo competition was fun. It was neat to just watch everybody compete and cheer when they won. Maybe not so happy when they lost, but it, it was overall a fun experience. So hopefully, um, you know, in your classes, you can have a sumo competition. It's really neat to take everything you've learned and put it into fun class competition like that. So hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.